who am I and what do I do? Uh, my name is Anthony Lani. I'm a guitarist. Uh, I like to play uh, Brazilian music, Brazilian rhythms, samba, bolsa nova, baiao. I like traditional rhythms. And I have a band called Os Clavelitos. We're a six piece band, lots of uh, have a singer, guitar, bass, sax, drums, percussion. We like to have a lot of drums and percussion in the music. And uh, we, uh, we have all original music and it's a combination of Brazilian rhythms. So it's on a foundation of uh, different types of Brazilian rhythms, lots of samba. And, uh, and then we have English lyrics. What do I do when I play solo? So when I play solo, I, I tend to focus on um, covers of, of traditional Brazilian tunes. Uh, so I've uh, developed arrangements, solo, solo guitar arrangements of Brazilian tunes throughout the years. And, um, and that's mostly what I do. So I'll be playing a lot of samba tunes, bossa nova tunes, baiaos, maybe a little bit of a bolero here and there. Occasionally, maybe Italian traditional tune. I am not originally from New York. I am originally from the Detroit area, from a city called Sterling Heights in Michigan. Uh, I moved to New York in 97. I moved here actually because of my, my girlfriend, who I've been with for a very long time. So, And um, yeah, and then ever since I, I moved here, I just, uh, I loved it. Uh, you know, just so much here in New York music and art and food. The food in New York is, is amazing. I uh, was going to college for math and computer science uh, living in Michigan, the Detroit area at the time. And while I was in college, my first year of college, um, my dad always had a mandolin sitting around the house and uh, one day I asked him to teach me how to play mandolin. So I learned some traditional Italian tunes. And from there, I went on to take guitar lessons. I started taking um, private lessons, uh, playing, performing classical guitar. And my instructor at the time introduced me to the music of Antonio Carlos Jobim. So from there, I eventually moved to New York and um, started doing private lessons with, you know, learning jazz and uh, a little touch of Brazilian music, bossa nova. Um, and as I lived here, I just heard more and more Brazilian music, samba, and I just got deeper and deeper into the music and just kept playing more and more of it and eventually started writing some of my own music. Who inspires me? Oh, that's, um, there's quite a, quite a, uh, quite a different musicians who, uh, really inspired me. Um, and I would say, uh, you know, Bad and Powell, listen to a lot of him, Joe Bosco, uh, Tony Carlos Jobim, of course, uh, he, he's written so many amazing tunes and I like to play a lot of uh, solo arrangements of a lot of his tunes. Um, Ari Barroso, just there's tons of Brazilian artists that, uh, you know, really, um, really inspired me that I, I really love listening to. What drives me and gets me up in the morning? Uh, really nothing gets me up in the morning. I don't, I don't like to wake up early. I like to sleep in as much as possible. Uh, but uh, I, I understand the question. There's more things that keep me up late at night, really. Um, and of course that would be, music would, would be the biggest thing. Um, rhythm, I love, I love rhythm. I love listening to rhythm and, and playing rhythms and um, I love transcribing music and using sheet music software, <laughs> um, you know, or, or just the thought of, you know, if, if, if I uh, wake up in the morning and know that I'm going to have a recording session at night or a rehearsal or play with the band at night, that, that kind of gets me excited and, you know, drives me to, to move through the day. Are there any movements that I'd like to talk about? Well, let me, let me kind of put it this way. Um, some of the, the, the way I think of music or, or the way I write, 
um, I, I kind of think about as music is something that brings you home. So for me, for instance, uh, you know, hearing a samba rhythm, playing with my band, or even playing with, you know, um, friends, it gives me a sense of home. And, you know, especially if I'm just hearing a great samba or playing a great samba, I get such a, a great sense of home. And um, some of the music I, I, I wrote is, you know, is, is very sad. It has sad lyrics or very introspective lyric uh, lyrics but it's you know kind of taking those emotions and working through them and 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 getting you home basically you know and and kind of finding that home in in, in the uh, the rhythms and the melody well um <clears throat> I, I tend to think of our music as kind of folkloric and sort of folk music and um, you know, music from a certain village. Like to give an example, uh, when I go to Italy to visit relatives, I'll bring my guitar and we'll sit together at uh, dinner and someone will bring out accordion and, you know, the, the whole family will be singing. We'll be eating all this wonderful food and drinking wine. And it's just amazing how, you know, the culture, uh, you know, everyone knows these traditional Italian tunes and they're all singing together and it just feels so happy and so like home. And, and I kind of feel that, um, you know, traditional music, folkloric music tends to, to bring that out. So, you know, with the music we play and some of those, uh, you know, traditional rhythms, it, it tends to get people excited, make them want to dance. Um, uh, but it also has the, the sense of family, you know, the sense of community, the sense of, uh, you know, basically people from a village coming together to celebrate. And, um, and that's, that's, that's something that I really enjoy, the sense of family, having big dinners and everyone sitting together and, you know, having a good time and drinking wine or, or just playing music that's, that's fun and happy and feels good. And, and you know, everyone is... Being a part of it, whether they're dancing or singing along, or, or just kind of enjoying the community of it. I have something very big coming up. Uh, my band is working on our first recording, the first Osh Clavelitos recording. Uh, it's a full-length album. It's going to be 11 songs, all original music, uh, written by various members of the band. Myself, uh, our bass player Dan Kendall, and our singer Jake Ohanda. And uh, we expect it to, co to be completed very soon. We're getting close to the final mixing and mastering, uh, probably towards the end of the month. We'll finish it up and then, you know, we have to do all the, uh, the packaging and stuff like that. But we expect to release it this year. Um, and I'm very excited about it. It's, it's really sounding wonderful. And uh, it's, it's just going to be great. You can find me on my website at anthonylani.com. That's A-N-T-H-O-N-Y-L-A-N-N-I.com. And you can find more about Oshklavlitos at oshklavlitos.com. And that's www.oscl-a-v-e-l-i-t-o-s.com.